Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to actually have an alternative way of setting up your stream deck with Wadado. Now, in case you probably have saw from my other stream, uh, stream deck tutorial that there is native support for the stream deck um, in Wadado, which is really nice. But there is a bug with uh, the stream deck, sadly, is that whenever you have Wadado um, with this node, right? This is a good node, don't get me wrong. But there's an issue where sometimes you'll set up the, sh the stream deck, right? You know, you have this and let's say you have a toggle expression, right? Something like that, right? So you have this, you do that add your character let's say we're gonna have angry kana and we say uh angie or something like that and when we get this triggered it will um it will actually like uh not trigger because the thing you have to do is that every time you open up water though you have to restart your stream deck which actually can get pretty annoying now there's still um there's still like searches on a bug on how to fix this, but I do have a temporary solution on how I personally fix it where every time I start Wadado, I don't have to like restart my stream deck program every single time. Um, so, and it's basically with the power of web sockets. Power of web sockets compels you! So, yeah. So basically though, um, I'm pretty much using this add-on right here one second i'm trying to find it it's called web requests plugin basically i'll link in the description where you can um install it for your stream deck but it's basically this thing so i'm basically using this little hacker right here this is the same one i use for vignon so it's pretty much that so basically this one surprisingly works really well because again it triggers via websocket uh this one also triggers via websocket but i'm not sure somehow the way it's handled or something like that there's a weird bug uh but for some reason with this one it doesn't um it doesn't do that so like you can actually use this add-on websocket message and you can be able to have it where every time you restart water though um your stream deck will actually like you don't have to reset every single time it works perfectly fine right out of the box basically so yeah um but again um i'll if i if it ends up getting fixed the native stream deck trigger um uh, if that ends up getting fixed or something like that i'll definitely like mark this video as obsolete but otherwise you could still use it if you prefer but otherwise though um pretty much in order to set this up all you have to do is obviously set your websocket message here you're going to click on the websocket and then you're going to name it wherever you want so let's say we're going to name this angie uh or whatever the heck you want so it's going to be like this. Now for the URL, uh, it's going to look like this basically. I'll leave this in the description so you can copy and paste. But it is ws col um, colon slash slash localhost colon and then 19190. That's basically the... Um, that's basically what the URL is. It looks exactly like this. Again, it's in the description below. You can copy and paste it. But basically though, uh, with uh, Angie, you just make sure that um, instead of using the Stream Deck trigger, you're actually gonna use WebSocket. So you're gonna set this to WebSocket uh, raw message, then switch on string, right? Like that. And then what you're going to do uh, is then you're going to connect it like so. Actually, I'm going to quickly set this to be Angie. Then I'm going to connect these guys together like this, like this, basically. Then connect that. So basically, WebSocket, when it received the message from the Stream Deck. So Stream Deck is sending to Wadado's URL of this message that says Angie. This will basically receive the message of telling Wadado that on the case of Angie, uh, once it's detected, it will then, when Angie is triggered, it will have it where the you can toggle the expression for angry, basically. So when I press it, it does, it does trigger. So this is more of like an alternative way where if you don't like that whole like resetting your stream deck every single freaking time, but you still want to use a stream deck anyways, then you can basically just do this basically. Awa, awa. 
So yeah, that's pretty much an alternative as to fixing that issue if you really are annoyed by that weird glitch. But again, I'm pretty sure it'll get fixed eventually. Um, it's probably just something with WebSockets being a pain in the behind or something like that. Um, but otherwise though, pretty much though, that's pretty much the alternative way of setting up a stream deck with Wadado. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.